Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. It is the last day of September here and it is a gorgeous fall day. There is a chill in the air. I've got my nice warm vest on and we have got some gorgeous fall flowers to share with you. Exhibit A. This is a gorgeous yellow mum that we grew here at Creekside Nursery. Remember, we are in Dallas, North Carolina, just west of Charlotte. So if you are in the vicinity and looking for a great local nursery, well, look no further because you found us. Here at Creekside, we are a grower retailer. So that means that we grow our plant. All of the mums I'm gonna show you, we grew, and oh my gosh, the thing's massive, it's huge. So we have got beautiful mums for you. Put that down because it's, it's a little heavy. Um, so we have got mums, we've got yellow, we've got purple, we've got red, we've got orange, all sorts of gorgeous things. This is gonna be the weekend if you are looking to get your mums because one, the weather is gonna be absolutely glorious. So come on out here, do some shopping. We still have right now a good selection of mums. There are some of the reds that are kind of getting um, the supply is getting low, so if you are looking for your mums, this is the perfect weekend to come get them. All right, not only do we have mums, we've got all sorts of other great fall components. Um, look at this. So all of the ones here on this table are gonna be trailing pansies. That means that they're gonna do exactly that. They're going to trail. Instead of being more of a bunch, they're gonna trail. So there's white. There's a beautiful, sweet yellow, just a really nice, pretty color. I love this one. Look at this one right here. It almost looks black. It is a purple. It is a really deep, deep purple. Um, again, it looks black for some applications. Um, that is just a regular pansy. <laughs> I know that because if Jerry backs up, just back up, please. Here we go. Um, because all of the trailing pansies are in, gonna be in round pots and the regular pansies are gonna be in little square pots. So that's how I knew that this was not a trailing one because it was in square versus the round. But if you love this color in a trailing, then come on over here because we have them. We've also got great components for, um, you know, foliage and things like that. So here is, a really sweet trailer that has very much similar colors to that other pansy. Just that really sweet blue and yellow by color. And you can see it's already getting tall. Once it gets some weight to it, then it'll fall over and start trailing. Love these. These are absolutely gorgeous. And in fact, I use these in the arrangement where I did the wheelbarrow. So if you remember the infamous wheelbarrow that we had planted this summer right there by the bridge that so, much of so many of y'all love, um, these went in there. So look for that video coming out on Saturday because it's a little teaser. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I did, but these were in there. Really nice. And then if you're looking for some more cool colors, the icy colors, look at this. It's actually a blue. Just a fantastic cool color again would pair beautifully with some silver, whether that's the Dusty Miller or the Artemisia, just a great color. Now, to give your containers or your landscape some height, you might wanna consider these components. So back here, we have the, let's find one that I really like. This is the Swiss chard. This is Bright Lights Swiss chard, and take a look at the color of the stalks. So there you have the beautiful deep red. So I'm going to slowly rotate here. You've got some yellow and orange in there. So I'm going to disregard that. And then I'm going to turn just a little bit more. And then you've got some white. So on the bright light Swiss chard, in that container you're going to have different colors of stalks. So if you're looking for some really nice big bold colors, there it is. And because it is a Swiss chard, it's very um, tolerant to cold snaps. Again, so here is kale. So this is the green kale. We've got the green kale and the red kale that both, again, make great thrillers in your containers. This is just the green. This is that deep, dark red. Remember, kale is great for 
again, those cold snaps, that cold weather, because they can handle it really well. Now, one that you may not be familiar with is Cardoon. Cardoon is another great thriller for your landscape or your containers. It's going to be a lot taller than the kale, just a really neat green um, foliage to it. It has a little bit of a silver edge. I'm going to turn, hopefully not too fast here, but look at the back of the leaf. See how it has that nice silvery undertones to it? And cardoons can get to be a little bit big. So if you're looking for some, a bigger impact, um, then this would be a great option, especially like in the landscape or large containers. So don't forget about the cardoon. We also have these great sedums. Look at this. Get the pine needles out of here. So this is Angelina. Looks very familiar if you um, know the Proven Winners Lemon Coral Sedum. Angelina, though, is going to be a little bit more um, cold tolerant than lemon coral. So it's actually a perennial in zones five to eight. So let me give you that so you can see that. And it is considered a full sun plant. If you don't get it in full sun, it'll turn more green than that great yellowy lime color. So we have those available in gallons. Come on over here. And we're gonna look at um, some plectranthus. You're like, Jenny, what is that? Well, plectranthus is gonna be another great um, flowering option that is gonna give you some height and really fill in your containers containers and or landscape this is a beautiful blue one if you're familiar with like salvia this kind of has that bloom like a salvia really pretty and then one of my favorites is the pink look at that a nice big impact statement these are great size plants already gorgeous blooms they've got buds all over them really neat bloom on them makes a big impact all right let's go back over here to where the pansies and the violas are and for you local folks man y'all took us up on that offer about coming and getting your fall annuals so you went through a ton of them last weekend so we have reordered and they are we're getting another shipment coming in um believe Friday. Friday Jerry says Friday so we still have a lot of great selections of pansies yellows the um, this is the oh, spider web sorry um, you know whoever's the first one oh gosh that's a huge one it goes all the way to the pergola y'all sorry oh my goodness whoever's the first person to walk through the nursery in the morning gets to catch all the spider webs so I got to catch that one for everybody this is lavender medley look at that this is that same one i used on in the chair video when i planted the chair by the right across there at the pines lavender medley is great because it has all sorts of different shades of purple in it so i love that one then the ocean breeze mix is fun too because let's see if i can show this to you at the same time here these mixes obviously are just what they say. They are mixes with different colors, but that are really compatible with each other and go well together. So I love this ocean breeze. Again, it's a nice cool color and, oh, look at this. This is the Matrix True Blue. Now you wanna talk about True Blue? There you go. Doesn't have purple undertones to it. A lot of times in the horticultural world, they'll call something blue and it's really purple, but this is a true, true blue. And in fact, I am going to, in one of these upcoming projects that we're going to show you, if I can get one out of here, I am going to do in a bed a mix of the true blue and the light blue together. So true blue is that one and then you have the light blue which is a nice icy blue and we're going to mix a lot of like silver with it so that's one that i'm really excited about can't wait to show you but that's going to be gorgeous then we do have some mixes over here um let's go look at violas now remember sh uh, pansies and violas are both sun loving annuals 
here in the south. They are great for us through the fall, winter, and into spring because our winters do not get so incredibly cold, say like our friends in Michigan. They can't do pansies all winter long. We can. Violas can be a little bit more shade tolerant than pansies. Violas have smaller blooms, but they have more blooms on them, so they make a big impact. They also can handle the cold weather a little bit better and will flower maybe when a pansy doesn't and it's a little bit too chilly. So again, there's just all sorts of great different colors. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just going to show them to you so that you can see how incredibly beautiful they are. Um, really, I mean, this is, I've had the hardest time choosing which ones that I want to do because they are so beautiful. Look at that sweet face. Look at that. Is that not fantastic? And then if you take this viola and you mix it, this is Dusty Miller. So Dusty Miller is a great foliage plant. Again, it's wet for the first thing in the morning, but typically has this great silver foliage to it. But you pair those together, it's that icy blue all together. So nice. Love it. So really, I mean, the possibilities are endless when you're mixing your fall containers because it's just a personal preference. What color do you want to go with? And sometimes that just happens when you get out here. And What really strikes your fancy, what catches your eye, pick that and then you can build from there. I divert one second from fall annuals to we have some of the cat's pajamas from Proven Winners. This is not an annual. This is a perennial. The cat's pajamas is a fantastic low growing perennial. Does these really pretty um, true blue flowers. It is full sun, only gonna get 12 to 14 inches and it is gonna be hardy in zones three, three to eight. So nice and cold tolerant, does great. If you can put it in a little bit of shade for the afternoon for us because um, you know we're, a little, we're right there at that zone eight, that would be fantastic. And it does really well if you have little small pockets in your landscape where you want to pop some color, then this would be a great one. And it smells good too. It smells fantastic. Um, all right, so those are all of those fantastic ones. Let me show you real quick some more mums. So of course we had the yellow ones. Here we've got some purple. Now, I know if you are a local person and you've shopped at Creekside, for the past several years with your mums, you might come here and go, oh my gosh, y'all don't have any mums. We do, they're just all up at the production lot. So we're growing them up there at the production lot. They're on automated irrigation, so we don't have to worry about watering them, hand watering them every day. So like this afternoon, we will go grab a load and bring it down here. So we've got plenty of mums, so don't worry about that. We have them in all different stages, almost full bloom like this to even just cracking some buds. So that's some purple. Um, the oranges, so for example, when I was talking about the buds, like look at this. So these are oranges. Look how massive this is. It's a tight bud, but you see there are some that are starting to crack some color. So it is not going to be long at all before these are showing more and more color. Remember, mums bloom at different times. So you have early bloomers, mid bloomers, late bloomers, just like with hydrangeas. Some hydrangeas bloom early in the summer, some are later in the summer. Same thing with mums. That way it gives you a continuous display of gorgeous color all season long. Obviously, this one is a different mum because it's almost in full bloom. Now, again, it's a little damp, so it looks more of a little rust than say like a true orange, but it is an orange. So different one than that. And then these reds, I actually grabbed some reds and put on our front porch with those red violas. If y'all had seen the social media posts we did with that, um, gorgeous, just really a deep, beautiful red, absolutely stunning. Makes a really nice statement. Now, uh, we're not going to walk down there. We'll do it on the next nursery tour, but we do have bulbs. People were asking, do you still have bulbs? Yes, we do. But Come this way because I want to show you, give you a little update on the sunflowers that we planted. We've had so many people ask us how the sunflowers are doing, so we thought we would take a little, a 
little walk and show you. Um, fall is definitely coming. Can you see those, those poplar trees? These are poplar trees. Um, we have tons of them here at Creekside. They are taking on some yellow color. It's about, I don't know, 8.30 in the morning right now. And so the sun is coming up over the house. And um, so it might be bright here just for a second, but we'll turn around so we don't get too blinded. So put your sunglasses on here for a second because it is, whoo wee, it is bright. Just give me one second, we're almost there. But the sunflowers are doing well. Um, after we planted them, they were a little, um, it stopped raining and this is not on irrigation, but just to give you an idea of the size of them, they are doing well. And in fact, I might see a little head down in there, but this is, these are the sunflowers. The fields are doing really well. Nice big leaves on them. Hopefully we will not get a really cold, cold snap before they're able to grow. We got some good rain yesterday, so that's always a good thing. Um, last night was a cool night. Like in the mid, when I say cool night, it was what, in the upper 40s, maybe? Yeah. yeah, so for us, that's a cool night in September. So as long as we have some nice warm days, they should take off. They maybe not grow as tall as they would be, let's say if it was July, but hopefully even if they just bloom, it's okay. But y'all were asking for updates on sunflowers. Here they are doing well. They're happy and growing quite well. Y'all have a fantastic day. As always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. We love you. We appreciate your support. Now go have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.